Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Stark and I'm a product training coordinator here at Wellness Living. In today's video, what I'm going to go over is event deactivation, reactivation, and cancellation. With this new improvement, staff will now have the functionality to deactivate and reactivate event purchases that have sessions remaining and will also be able to cancel an event purchase even when there are upcoming sessions. So to show the functionality here, what you need is a client who is booked into an event and has an event purchase already, right? So I already know that we have a client who has that, which is Janet or who is Janet. So I can go there and click on her to bring up her client profile. Now, once I am on the client's profile, what I want to do is navigate down to account. I'm going to click for the drop down, and I'm going to click on passes and memberships. And once we're within passes and memberships, all we want to do is go over and scroll down to events. And under here, we can see that there is an active event purchase on this client's profile. So with this improvement, uh, it's twofold. So it comes in two different sections, which is deactivation and cancellation. What I'm going to do is go over the deactivation part first. So for this event purchase, which is nutrition and cleansing workshop, let's say I want to deactivate it. What I can do is go to the action menu, click for the three dots, and we can see there's refund, cancel, or deactivate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on deactivate and we can see that there is going to be a notification which shows up stating that there are three remaining sessions in the event purchase. Deactivating will prevent the client from being able to use their remaining sessions. Are you sure you want to continue? And then you can say never mind or deactivate if you want to continue, which I do right now. So I'm going to click deactivate. Once I do this, we get a confirmation at the top. So we can see once we've refreshed, it's no longer there because it has been deactivated. The way that we can access this again is go to applied filters and I can just click on the X to remove the filter. And then what I can do is just travel back down and we can see we have events and right here, this is the one that I deactivated earlier, right? So we can see that right here, it's been deactivated on the correct date. So as part of reactivation, very easy to do. So let's say that we want to reactivate that event purchase that I just deactivated. What we do is go to the action menu, go to the three dots, click for the three dots. And what I can do is actually go down and I can click on reactivate, which I will do right now. Once we do this, we will see a pop-up for it saying, are you sure you want to reactivate all makeup sessions? And yes, I do, or never mind. So I'm gonna click on reactivate. Again, we'll get a confirmation notification. All I have to do again is travel down to events and we can see that that event purchase has been reactivated because now it has an active status. In addition to this, what we can also do for deactivation is I can actually go to the action menu and let's say that we wanted to refund this for the client. I can click on refund. There's going to be a Disclaimer here, which says if you are refunding a transaction that is associated with a service purchase option, it will not automatically deactivate the purchase option. If you wish to deactivate the purchase option, you must manually go to the client's profile to do so. So we can go ahead and click OK. Then it's going to come up like this. And we also have refund. Underneath that, there is a on off slider underneath the action menu here, which is deactivate purchase option, where we could toggle that on or off, depending on what we want to do with that purchase option. And then we can continue and complete the refund uh, if we wish. Right now, I'm just gonna go hit cancel. And some additional information for deactivation, an event purchase which has one or more remaining sessions can be deactivated. And if there are upcoming sessions, Deactivation will have no effect on how these visits are being paid. After deactivation, if an upcoming session has an early cancel status, then the visit will be moved to the remaining visits. In addition to this, past visits will have a paid status using the event purchase, and the event purchase can be reactivated after any amount of time and remaining visits can be used towards services such as makeup sessions or re-enrolling the client into missed event instance sessions. All right, and next we have cancellation of an event purchase. So once an event purchase option has been canceled, the client will also be early canceled from any upcoming sessions in the event instance. Staff can decide to either select or remove the client from past event sessions, 
or keep them in the past event sessions if they wish. Once an event purchase option has been canceled, there is no option to reactivate it. And once the event purchase option has been canceled, the event will show a canceled status within the details column, including the staff who completed the cancellation and the date. So to cancel the events, very straightforward. All we have to do is go to events underneath our passes and memberships within the client's profile. And then we can locate our event, go underneath the action menu, click for the three dots, and then we can navigate down here to cancel event and click that. Once we click that, we're going to see this notification come up, which says cancel event purchase. And if we read it, it says canceling the nutrition and cleansing workshop uh, purchase will cause the client to be removed from upcoming sessions of the event. And the client will no longer be able to pay for services using this event purchase. Do you want to remove the client from past event sessions as well? Uh, like we said, we get a choice there, so we can click on either remove the client from past event sessions or do not remove the client from past event sessions. And this one is highlighted by default. So let's go ahead and not remove them from the past event sessions. And then we can go ahead and ca cancel the event purchase. There we go. And we can see we got a confirmation that's been canceled and we can no longer see that it is there. And again, having this kind of functionality is superb. Uh, staff will now have, like I said, the functionality to deactivate and reactivate event purchases that have sessions remaining. And they can also cancel event sessions even when there are upcoming sessions for that event.